now that Mad Cleaning has determined the total amount of bottles they need to produce during the period, 10,000, they need to start figuring out what that is going to cost them to produce. And to do so, they're going to have to make a budget for each of their three primary cost components of production, their material costs, their labor costs, and their manufacturing overhead costs. Let's start with the direct material costs on the direct materials budget. When you prepare a direct materials budget, you need to know what your standards are going to be. They're the amount that should go into each unit overall, uh, and you know the proposed inventory flow levels that you have during the period, which are set forth by the people running the company. So Mad Cleaning's consultant worked with Ms. Badenoff to establish a set of standards for the company's operations. In addition to these per bottle standards, the company has also made an estimate about the quantity of materials needed at the end of the month, and the information is as follows. Each bottle that they make is going to take two pounds of direct materials, and they're going to pay a dollar per pound uh, for those materials. They have 2,000 pounds of direct materials in inventory when the period began, and at the end of the period, they want to have direct materials ending inventory equal to 10% of February's budgeted direct materials needed for production. And they are estimating that in February they're going to need 20,000 pounds of direct materials to make bottles of all-purpose cleaner during that month. So we want to have a portion of that before the, this month ends so it's ready to go when next month begins. Let's start with our budgeted bottles. Fix my typo here. Bottles to be produced. Well, we have that information. We got that from the production budget. According to our production budget, we need to produce 10,000 bottles during the period. How many pounds of direct materials go into each unit that is given in the information as two. Each one of these bottles of all-purpose cleaner takes two pounds of direct materials to make, which means if we need to make 10,000 bottles and each one is going to take two pounds of materials, 10,000 times two, means that Mad Cleaning is going to need 20,000 pounds of direct materials for production in total. Well, that's not all they're going to need because they want to have some materials in their ending inventory, just like with finished goods. You, If you don't have enough direct materials sitting around and you know the production requirements go up, well, production is halted because you don't have those you know, uh, upfront things that you need for production to start, like direct materials. So they want to have ending inventory, direct materials inventory, equal to 10% of next month's amount needed for production. So if they need 10% of the 20,000 pounds they're going to need during February, already in inventory when January ends, that's going to mean they need 2,000 pounds of direct materials. So if they need 20,000 pounds for what they're going to produce this month, and they're going to need 2,000 pounds in their ending inventory to be prepared for next month. That means that in total, throughout the entire month of January, Mad Cleaning is going to need 22,000 pounds of direct materials. Well, they don't need to buy all of those because, again, they're starting the period with some in their beginning inventory. And our information tells us that they already have 2,000 pounds of direct materials in inventory when the month of January begins. So if they need 22,000, but they already have 2,000, well that means they're gonna have to buy 20,000 pounds of direct materials during the period. And their cost per pound of direct materials, also given the information, is a dollar per pound. So to buy those 20,000 pounds of direct materials, which are gonna be needed for production, at a rate of a dollar per pound, Mad Cleaning is going to have to budget to spend $20,000 on direct material purchases during the month of January 20XX.